Boy. It has been two years since I've been able to say live from Highline Community College. It's a time for another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. I'm joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 174. A little bit of data from a huge data set. All right, so here's our problem today. This is a, a massive data set. All these countries, for each country, there's a whole bunch of indicators. Years going across from 1970 to 2013, and our goal is to get the GDP, so just this, gross domestic product GDP, that cell, for only these countries, for only the years from 2000 to 2010. And initially, I said, well, Power Query is going to be the way, but we're going to have to merge two tables in Power Query, which I just got the great new book from Ken Poles and Miguel Escobar, M is for Data Monkey, and I have to tell you, that's a chapter 15 thing, and I've only read through chapter 10. So I'm not going to try that today. Instead, I'm going to do uh, Alt D E data text to columns delimited by a comma finish. All right. So then I have all of these countries. Control C. I'm going to come out here and on the right hand side. Before we started, I already put the countries there. I'm going to do Alt E S E to transpose. Bam. And then. Oh, look at that. There is some spaces. Oh, I wonder if we have any countries with, yes, we do. I was going to just do Control H to get rid of the spaces, but United Arab Emirates would get screwed up. So equal trim. Oh, like a haircut. Woo! <laughs> trim function. All right. Control C, Alt E, S, V. All right. So that's my list of countries. And then what do we want for each of those countries? We only want the cell that says gross domestic product. This one right here. Control V and double click to shoot that down. Hopefully it's not in a custom list. It's not. All right, so we come back here to the original data set. We go to data, advanced filter. It automatically expands to all the data. I'm going to copy the data to another location. I have a criteria range. That criteria range is these two columns uh, right here, A, V, and A, W. I'm going to choose those. That's going to limit me to just the uh, countries in the list and just GDP. And then copy to, now check this out, created this uh, output range before we turn on the video. It has just the years that we want. And click OK. Bam, there we are. Uh, let's do a little bit of cleanup here, all OCA. And we have just the countries, just GDP. Uh, didn't have to touch Power Query at all, although I would have loved to have done it in Power Query. Mike, let's see what you have. Woo! Now, advanced filter. That's going to be quicker than Power Query. Not only that, but I think I could do it with, with match functions and some uh, a couple other things uh, more quickly than Power Query. But I'm going to go ahead and try Power Query here, especially since in my classes uh, here at Highland we've been using Power Query a lot. Now I'm going to get this table, bring it into Power Query. I'm going to Control T to convert it to a table. Alt J T A to jump up and name this, and I'm going to call this Start Table and enter. And then I'm going to create this as a table here and call this countries, control B, control T, enter, all J, T, A, and we're going to name this something like country start and enter. Now I'm going to go up, click in a single cell, go up to power query, over to from table. There's the name. All right, I'm going to start off. I'm just going to come over here and filter. It looks like it's not seeing everything, so I'm going to click Load More, unselect everything. How about just GDP? Then I'm going to highlight, let's say, Columns 1970 all the way over to 1999. Right click, Remove. 2011 Shift, 2013, right click, Remove. All right, I don't need this column anymore. Right click, Remove. Now I need to bring in that other table. I'm going to close and load to a connection only. Click load. Now I'm going to come back over here. Click in that cell from table. Boy, this is already taking a long time. Ah, but we want to split by delimiter. Oh, and it's so cool. Instead of comma, I think we can come down to custom. Looks like we're going to have a comma, then a space. So we're going to try to have two delimiters together at each occurrence. Click OK. Then highlight all the columns. Oh, unpivot, transform, unpivot. 
<laughs> right click. Whoa, not right click removes. I want to just remove this. Right click remove. Double click, I'll call this country. And enter. Now I'm going to close and load too. This has already taken 10 times longer than that amazing advanced filter. Only create a connection and load. Now I think we can merge these. I'm going to click the Merge button. Up at the top, the first one will say Start. Down here will say Country. And I'm going to click on each one of these. Only include matching rows. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh my gosh. Click OK. Look at that. Now, we have a table off to the side, but we're not going to need it. We have everything. And if you scroll down, there's 29 of them. Scroll over here, right click, remove. I'm going to give this a better name. I tell you, I can't tell you how many times I've gotten in trouble when I'm not naming the tables. We'll call this uh, GDP Output. Enter. And then now we can close. If we say close and load, it'll just slap it onto a new sheet, and that's what we'll do. That is awesome. That is awesome. I love, love Power Query. Every time I see someone else use Power Query, I learn new tricks. I've been right clicking and choosing rename. I never knew you could just double click. That is incredible. Oh, my heavens. Should we fix this? This is terrible. What's all this junk here? I actually do not know how to add the custom number formatting inside of Power Query to get it to output. And I think if we ever updated this, it might erase this. But control just, Let's edit the query. Right click, edit the query. How oh, that one, yeah. Oh. And then select all those columns. Whoop! And then up in the transform, change it to a decimal number with zero decimal places. No, I want to do custom. I want to show this in a millions. Oh, I don't yeah, know how to do that up here. That. Unless you actually divide it by millions, which you could do on add column. That would be too tough. I'm going to um, close this. Oh, I have to click. Um, no, I'm going to close the query editor. All right, you ready? Control one. I think I learned this from Mr. one of your one of your first books. Pound, pound, pound. Comma, comma. Click OK. Now I need to indicate that this is in millions. Right click, insert, something like uh, equals down arrow. And the thing is, that's text from Power Query, right? So I can't do custom number formatting. So I have to do something crazy like this, I think. Right? In parentheses, dollar sign million, in parentheses, Control Enter. And then I learned this from you too. Right click and drag. And then copy here as values nice. only. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, my heavens. That is awesome. That is awesome. All right, so that power query, although this is a, one of the rare times that I think advanced filter was faster because it was a one-time gig. We only had to do it once. I think advanced filter is the way to go. But if we had to do this every single day, power query could just repeat over and over and over. We were getting new data every single day. Absolutely. I think there's some other ways. I think we could have used the match function in regular filter, too. Absolutely, yeah. That's the beautiful thing about Excel. But Power Query for refreshable data, nothing can beat it. Absolutely amazing. And again, I'm going to plug uh, M is for Data Monkey. Uh, great, great book on Power Query. I think it is going to be an amazing, amazing seller because everyone who uses Excel that has to deal with bad data is going to love Power Query. And unfortunately, with Power Query, you can't just figure it out. It's not intuitive. Uh, the, I, I was using Power Query for a year, and I read that book. And by Chapter 7, I already knew 10 times more than I had just figured out. So, woohoo! Woo All right. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next week for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel. And Excel is fun.